Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Paper Mario Chapter 4. Trials in the Toy Box. Look at that fire guy. He looks, he looks like he's having a wonderful time. You know that dog in that meme? <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> oh. Speaking of disaster, just got first struck by that tool. We're gonna have to... Whoa, two new guys. What do you know? We're gonna tile both of them here. Spy guy. Snake. Snake! Yeah, so basically he has two attacks. He has two weapons, and if you hit him, he switches weapons. This weapon is just like that guy on the balloons there. He, he does the, you know, pebble, the David and Goliath type thing, where he throws a rock at you from a sling. And then, <laughs> I don't know why I brought that. And then he has the hammer, which if you don't block it, which I purposely didn't block that, he hits you, you can actually lose one of your either strategy items, jump, hammer, or star spirit powers. Actually, I don't know if you can use lose star spirit powers. I think you can. By the way, this is the Eggman shy guy. He's the medical guy. <laughs> and he has an attack power of one. Oh boy. But he also, he also heals everyone, so you can see how that could be a problem. It could be a little bit of a problem. Except, he's not a threat anymore. Not really a threat at all. Okay, so I, I can't hammer him because I don't have... I Because he's flying. And I don't have my jump back yet, so I can't even attack him right now. Oh, this is great. I'm going to use a snowman doll. Why the heck not? It's something to do. Aw, oh, this stinks that I lost my jump. Of all things to lose. Oh, well. We're just going to switch over the bow here and finish the job. She's good for it. That would stink if you lost party member abilities, but you can't, obviously. Wait, which of those which of those assholes gave me two star points? Hmm, one of those guys is on a higher level than the rest of them. Anyway, speaking of different shy guys, that's different. What on earth are you? I'm just ordinary food loving shy shy guy. I'm no different from anyone else. Well, he's hungry. Might as well give him some, you know, some healthy syrup and, and, what, what? I could have drank that. You, you bastard. Oh, you posh prick. The finest quality, or I might gag. Well, I, I, I wouldn't be sad if you did. Now, obviously, there's this particular food item we have to give him in order to trigger the event that he is there for. <laughs> Couldn't think of a way to phrase it in my own head. Anyway, commentary is fun. I don't know what those spinning cogwheels in the back are doing. Probably nothing. But we're gonna go on the other side of this area and see what we could do. Oh, it's these geniuses again. Gruntilda here is throwing some items my way. <laughs> oh, I know what'll stop Mario. I know what he's afraid of. Getting items. Yeah, definitely what I'm afraid of. Definitely, definitely your best laid plan. What am I? But, but I've tattled everyone. I'm making sure you can't get the balloons, I think. And then after I realize you can't, I go back to... Yeah, let's go back to Bo. Sorry for wasting your time and mine, but I am anal retentive, so you know how it goes. And back to our regularly scheduled program. Let's get rid of the medical guy first, please. Yeah, exactly. Right there. Power bouts. Kill him in one turn so that Bo could take care of that flying guy. What do you, what, what do they call again? Balloon guy? It's just, I think it's just balloon guy. We'll see in like two seconds here. Eggman stucking back into his little machine. Or Sky Guy, that's it. Sky Guy. So clever, they changed one letter. Oh boy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. If they make that attack, there's like applause in the background. It's kind of funny. Makes more sense from a thousand year door perspective than here, but you know. Logic giveth, logic taketh away. And. Sunk. So close to that level up. I wonder. I don't remember what my BP is at. Is it at 15 yet? Who knows? Maybe. Uh, is it at 15, 18? What's it at? 12, 15, 18? I might raise it next. That would be that would be a Zaylor Aven type of thing to do. Let's try to do the same thing we did last time, eh? Or not. 
or I'm gonna show off the Voltrube. Yes, if I haven't showed this off already. I think I showed it off, but no one actually attacked me with it. So, you know, this guy throws stuff at me, so it's not really useful for his circumstance. But we're gonna show it off here. And Gypsy is going to make me have a higher defense. It's wonderful. And he called him. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Those guys called him reinforcements. But now, every time someone touches me, they get hurt a little bit. I don't know if we ever showed that off before, but we did now. Power bounce? No? Yes? I think power bounce. Power bounce? Power bounce that guy. Actually, it's kind of a waste of stuff of attack, isn't it? Because we're not going to be able to kill anyone with bow on this turn anyway. I don't think it was worth it, but hey, I, I took it far, so it was fun. It was worthless, but fun. Like the best things in life. Now, really, shouldn't I have been going for the healing guy? Well, we're, gonna, we're probably going to see him heal someone. Oh, no, no. You know what? At this point, I want to go for that dancing guy. He's kind of annoying me. So they can either heal one guy. I think they can also heal everyone, but by a lesser amount, obviously. I think that's something they do. I'm gonna kill this guy, or I'm gonna fail miserably, and Bo's gonna have to take care of it. I'm using a lot of FP here. I don't know what my deal is. I don't think I should. I think you should only use the power bounce when it's advantageous during that turn. I think I'm just using it to use it at this rate. I mean, it's a great move, but sometimes some of my decisions are questionable. All right, we're gonna let this guy live so that he can kill himself by attacking me later. And this guy's gonna die right now. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> I have too much to do. My bad. There you go. <laughs> he dizzied me, but killed himself at the same time. Oh, those dancing guys give two star points each. I think the sky guys might as well. I mean, the spy guys might as well. So a little treasure chest here. What is it? What is it? Defend plus badge. It takes six BP to put that on. It, is cr it uses a lot of badge resources. Not sure if I'm going to be using that. There is... Oh, however. You know we have damage dodge. If you do the action command, it does do one less damage. There's a second one of those that we could put on later. So. There we go. <laughs> the way Mario tilted it, that was really enjoyable. Anyway, these guys are going to come infinitely from the right until we pass through that little section of blockage. <laughs> blockage. And what you have to do to get by here. Oh, yeah. One coin. Thanks. Wait for it. You probably realize. It's pretty obvious. Oops. Snuck by. And when you get to a certain point, they stop coming infinitely from the right. But, you know. They're not that big a deal anyway. One shy guy. No way they can even get an attack in. You can't outsmack the bow. 85 star points. 810 coins. We're getting back up to that 900 mark. That 1,000 coin mark, really. I mean, it's one more coin. Let's be real. And apparently I learned to open chess yesterday. And I wasn't even standing in the right spot. Here we go. Oh, that, that scary thunderbolt. Oh, boy. Where I get the frying pan. Taste tea's frying pan. And what was it? The mailbag? I was in the aisle. I'm not even paying attention. Oh, wait. It was a badge, was it? I think it was. If it Was it the ice power badge? Or am I hallucinating? I think I'm hallucinating. Either way, if it was the ice power badge, that's going to come in a lot of handy in... What do you call it? Chapter 5. Man... Ah, I'm so tired, and I have... It's not even late. It's just from me doing a lot of... Well, okay, so I, in between the part I commentated last and this part, I was just playing around with the mic. I think I tired myself out, having way too much fun and laughing my butt off, so... <laughs> Hammer him, because I'm tired of him announcing it every time. I'm gonna go back up to to Town and give back some of the items we acquired and figure out how to get that darn next piece of track going because that's our job ladies and gentlemen we are the engineers in this chapter once upon a time there was an engineer drove a locomotive far and near 
He had a little bow that would stay on the stool. Watching everything the engineer would move. Anyway. I think I did that. I did that for a dry dry railroad, didn't I? Anyway. Hey, like a frying pan. Oh wow, there's two trains in this game. Wow, I think that was in your door only had one. She gotta make me something extra special. Here, you don't even have to waste one of your cake mixes for this to go on. It happens automatically. You get the cake. The shroom. No, the shroom cake is different. This is just cake. It won the heart of your dear beloved so long ago. And now it will win the heart of a fat, shy guy lying down on the railroad track. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so that's not the only time we'll see that guy. This chapter is not the only time we'll see that guy, of course. And no more, no new badges? What's going on, hey? That I should cut out. Full bag of mail. Come rain or sleet or, sh or snow or shy guys. <laughs> that was in your model already? Yeah, I also, well, um, <laughs> I stole everyone's paycheck from it before I gave it to you, but yes. I mean, not that you'd be able to take the money anyway. Star piece, thank you very much. Looks like Goomba is sending some mail. Aw, Daddy sent you some mail. Is it fun? Yeah, I sit in this pocket the entire time and only come out at the beginning of chapters to tattle new enemies. Oh, sure. Yeah, his adventure will be fucking fruitful. Grown up? <laughs> Don't wait up, Goompa. Don't wait up. Oh, look. A letter from the booze. It's a mass letter. What? But that was mostly me. I did all the heavy lifting. I'm the... Okay, whatever. Fine, she helped. Fine, she helped. But at least give me half the credit. We thought they were done. They weren't smart enough to face through Tubba Blubba's physical stomach. Anyway. No, I won't read any more of your letters. At least there was no depressing one like that one from Wacka. That was sad. That was very sad. It made me feel very guilty. I had a lot of trouble sleeping that night. No, I'm just kidding. I slept fucking fine. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, now that we have the cake, well, we're gonna see what the old, uh, the old Gordo guy <laughs> thinks about it. Okay, into the wall, onto the spring, into the box, this is good, wonderful. Get me back to Pink Station, please. Oh, uh, yeah, there's only one option that even lies this way that I have access to. Why bother asking me, man? Wait, did he really give the other option as the station I was already at? No, he didn't. He didn't. I'm just... I'm, again, hallucinating. Brain half off. A little tired. My sleep schedule is not quite up there yet. Jeff, Jeffy, Jeff is coming over later to do the second half of Jeff 12. I did Jeff 12 back when we were doing the rest of the... Oh, the <laughs> it looked like I bounced my face on the floor and it kept going. That was the best evasion of an attack of this entire LP. LP, best field moment right there. Best non-battle moment right- Oh, I fucking missed by one. Ah, stupid Robotnik guy. <laughs> Can we play that- Oh, no, I'm not gonna go through that jump. That was great. That was- Oh, that made my day. Oh, that made my day. Mario, throw away a turn, not gonna bother with it. But we'll just finish it off. Yes, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff is gonna come for the final. And I do mean final, because I think I said final like three times. I said goodbye on that OP in three different videos. The final, Star Wars Part 110. Jeff 12. Now, the first part was recorded at the same time that we finished the Geek Q. But then afterwards, after he left, I thought, hey, we should actually do another battle of a, you know, very special type. So he's coming over later for us to do the second half of that video. And then, I don't know, I'm gonna force him to help me with the two-player thing in Brawl. Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh! oh even the ellipses paused for a second while he, while he took in the deliciousness. Okay, now the Lackey 2 is going mad. I don't know what his problem is. 
the cameraman, the cameraman like it too. Okay, now he's what? What? He's breaking the two dimensions. Well, there are three dimensions here actually. The cookbook, wonderful. He went through. <laughs> he went through the floor at one point. I'm not sure quite what was going on there. Anyway, let's <sighs> missed. I really gotta get better about that. Oh, and here's a new Chai Guy. We haven't seen anything new yet. Oh, well, I should have saved that snowman doll. I think I have one more left, though. Pretty sure that's gonna hurt Pyro Guy a lot. <laughs> flame on! <laughs> What's that guy's name? Johnny something. Or the flame, or the torch, the torch, something like that from Fantastic Four. I don't even remember anymore. It's been so long since I thought about that series, that franchise. You have no idea. There was an Xbox game for it, though. Not, it was okay. I could see myself doing it later when I finish other important games. But I'm literally talking years ago. Like, years, a I mean, I'm literally talking years after. Like, years from now, when I run out of ideas, I might think of doing it. I didn't block that Pyro guy's attack. And Thunder Rage should almost finish all these guys off. In fact, I should finish all of them off, except the new recruit. He just got called in by that tool, the dancer. Well, you know how this song and dance goes. He's not gonna last long. Not at all. And we are going to level up oh so soon. Hopefully before the next station. That would be grand. I could get a free heal of my HP and FP. Okay, four more guys. We need to kill four guys, maybe less, depending on the star point. Maybe two. Who knows? If it's Pyro guys, I'm pretty sure they, they gave two star points, right? Right? Maybe even three? I got a lot of star points last battle. I'm not sure. Well, I did kill five guys as opposed to four. No, no, it was four guys. They only started out with three guys, and then the fourth guy came in. Here we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I'm not sure. No, jump guys do give two star points. We will definitely, definitely get... A level up after this. Oh wait, yeah. What am I thinking? Starstorm them. No, 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 no. Starstorm. You idiot. What are you? What? 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 What are you doing? You could literally end it right now, and your star power would replenish literally after this battle. What was I thinking? I haven't even shown off Starstorm yet, have I? How oblivious was I? You know, I'm just. What am I thinking here? You realize you are going to level up, right? Past me. Hey, past Avon. Use your head. What? Why am I? What? what that doesn't even. Just. Uh, you have a quick change badge on. You don't have to use Bombette. You could switch to someone who can get him in the air. What are you. <laughs> oh my god. I, I. Am I sure I didn't start drinking at this point? <laughs> Pretty sure I wasn't drinking yet before this video, but now I'm questioning. <laughs> well, I've never even been drunk in my life, but I mean, certainly I must have had something in my system to be that stupid. Here we go. We, we, we're up to 18 badge points. Oh, look. That dry, dry outpost lady, she sure knows how to put the extra work in. Although at this point, don't I have 999 coins again? Let's see. How many? 855. No, I don't. Well... It won't be long. I don't have money money on still, do I? I s Here we go. I put Quake. I would just want to show off spin, ba spin Smash. I should do it sooner rather than later. I'm wasting the BP having it on. Here we go. Quake Hammer. I shouldn't even put Quake Hammer on. It's not powerful. I don't know what I'm... I'm losing myself here. This, this is the part where I'm unsure why I'm making the decisions I'm making. Huh. I mean, at some point, I wanted to show off Spin Smash, so I had it on in the first place, but I haven't used it yet. I don't even know. I, I'm not gonna pretend to know what, what was going on in my head. Oh, I put on Ice Power, and these guys are fire. That means uh, my attacks are more powerful against them. Which means they're fucked. Not that they weren't fucked already. I'm really wondering whether I needed to, though just because my attack plus a partner's attack would already kill one. 
Now, does, does that badge apply to Quake Hammer, though? No, it does not. It has to be, a, I guess, normal direct attack? That's weird. I think that's bullshit, actually. Yeah, let's guy get another hit in. He won't be able to do much. And they're still giving me... How many are they giving me? They're giving me one star point now. I believe those guys used to give me two. We are over half half leveled up in this LP now. Can I switch badges again? Hopefully I put back on Spin Smash. Just Yeah, thank you. Just do it once and then get take it off forever. Because it's a worthless badge. Past. I'm yelling at my former self. Not at, not at any of you, of course. Of course, I would never yell at my lovely viewers. Also, am I getting quiet? Oh my god, I need to get an infusion of sugar or something. Get back up. Sailor Aven LP, Sailor Aven LP, excitement, high quality. And that, throwing that switch fixes the track. We'll be able to go on to the next station. You probably saw that coming. You probably saw the switch already. You'll notice there was a switch like that at Blue Station. That actually fixes the switch that goes between the first station and the last station. Which you can only get to by going at the last station, going to the right, and then you can stop, throw the switch, and then it goes to the station. You'll see that eventually. It's a really unimportant point because it doesn't matter at all. You could literally go around all the stations to get between the first and the last station, but, you know. It's the small things in life that really, really get me going. Those small details. Green station. Green means go. Hey, Toad, let's go. Stop wasting my time with all your silly dialogue. Let's get on this annoying, obnoxious train and get out of here. Here we go. And I could literally just skip this station altogether if I wanted to. I already know how this works. <laughs> they hit our tracks. Where did they go? Where could they possibly be? I wonder if it has anything to do with those brightly colored panels just sitting next to the spots where the tracks are missing. And, and, <laughs> oh, no. oh, look, first try, I got it. I don't know. There's only one area off of this station. But here you go. So these blocks, if you hit yellow, green, red, blue, right off the bat, the tracks are fixed, and you don't have to do, you don't have to do anything. If you hit the order that's in the background, green, yellow, red, blue, it just gives you four coins, which is pretty useless. I don't know why they bother giving you a hint about that. They're kind of not even worth it. And it, obviously if you go off screen, you come back on the blocks reset. 